Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha. My topic for today is Theories of Punishment. With change in the social structure, the society has witnessed various punishment theories and the radical changes that they have undergone from the traditional to the modern level and the crucial problems related to them. According to the dictionary, Punishment involves the infliction of pain or forfeiture. It is the infliction of a penalty, chastisement or castigation by the judicial arm of the state. Various kinds of punishment are prescribed for various types of crimes. Various punishment theories are proposed with the various intentions. The variation in the modality of punishment occurs because of the variation of societal reaction to lawbreaking. Broadly, there are five types of theories of punishment. First is deterrent theory, second, retributive theory, third, preventive theory, fourth, reformative theory, and fifth is expiatory theory. The first theory is deterrent theory. The term deterrent means to abstain from doing an act. Punishment is primarily deterrent when its object is to show the futility of crime and thereby teaches a lesson to others. Deterrence acts on the motives of the offenders, whether actual or potential. The main purpose of this theory is to deter or prevent the criminals from doing the crime or repeating the same crime in future. Under this theory, severe punishments are inflicted upon the offender so that he abstains from committing a crime in future and it would also be a lesson to the other members of the society as to what can be the consequence of committing a crime. This theory has proved effective even though it has certain defects, for instance, a hardened criminal becomes accustomed to the severity of the punishment and deterrence does not always prevent him from committing a crime. On the other hand, it also fails to affect an ordinary criminal as very often a crime is committed in a moment of excitement. The second theory is Retributive Theory. Retribution basically means that the wrongdoer pays for his wrongdoing. Since a person who is wronged would like to avenge himself, the state considers it necessary to inflict some pain or injury on the wrongdoer in order to otherwise prevent private vengeance. Retribute means to give in turn. This theory of punishment is based on the principle an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The object of this theory is to make the criminal realize the suffering of the pain by subjecting him to the same kind of pain as he had inflicted on the victim. This theory aims at taking a revenge rather than social welfare and transformation. It is also unfortunate that this theory overlooks the fact that two wrongs do not really make a right. The theory also seems to ignore if vengeance is the spirit of punishment, violence will be a way of prison. This theory has not been supported by the criminologist, penologist and sociologist as they feel that this theory is brutal and barbaric. The third theory is preventive. This theory also aims to prevent the crime rather than avenging it. As per this theory, the idea is to keep the offender away from the society. Thus, the extreme penalty, like the death punishment, ensures that once and for all the offender will be prevented from repeating the heinous act. The preventive mode of punishment works in three ways. First, by inspiring all prospective wrongdoer with the fear of punishment. Second, by dis 
disabling the wrongdoer from immediately committing any crime and third by transforming the offender by a process of reformation and re-education so that he would not commit crime again this theory has been criticized by some jurists the fourth theory is reformative the idea behind this theory is that no one is a born criminal and criminals are also humans under this theory it is believed that if the criminals are trained and educated they can be transformed into law abiding citizens a crime is committed as a result of the conflict between the character and the motive of the criminal one may commit a crime either because the temptation of the motive is stronger or because the restraint imposed by character is weaker according to this theory crime is like a disease this theory maintains that you cannot cure by killing this theory is the most humane of all the theories which aims to reform the legal offenders by individual treatment the exponents of the reformative theory believe that a wrongdoer stay in prison should serve to reeducate him and to reshape his personality in a new mold they believe that though punishment may be severe it should never be degrading thus the ultimate aim of the reformist is to try to bring about a change in the personality and character of the offender so as to make him a useful member of society this theory has been proved to be successful and accepted by many jurists the last one is expiatory theory expiation means compensation the focus of this theory is to pay for the sin committed according to this theory a compensation is paid to the victim on the wrongdoer the society recognizes the right of the victim thus the offender has to serve the victims and their dependents to compensate the deprivation this theory is proved to be impracticable due to being too idealistic experimentation of this theory is too expensive in terms of public safety and security this is all about the theories of punishment although this is a very precise video but if you want a detailed notes you may visit to my website that is priyasapaha.com thank you for watching see you soon bye bye